Welcome back to more Fallout 3. We were reading Overseer's stuff. Beatrice. Just what Vault 101 needs. An absent-minded, sexually repressed, repressed syncophant. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Wow. Jonas. I never should have assigned Jonas as James' assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor. Why does he call my dad the good doctor if he doesn't like him? Who gleefully fills a his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. She does try, and with a lot of guidance, has grown into a fine young woman that makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that has cared for her alone, alone, since she was an infant. Well, you are kind of creepy, dude. Scouting reports. And yes, I am going to read all this. I'm really liking this game and the depth that it has, so I'm going to go through all of it and experience it as I want to like. Alright. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously ir irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We s will need to carry ample supplies of radix with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springvale is abandoned ruin and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. We encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm Mackay's theories of mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. See Exhibit A. The good news is that the human civilization still survives, despite everything. We discover the settlement known as Megaton. See Exhibit B, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the Capital Wasteland, as the area around Washington, D.C. is now called from them. Megaton is, fortified, is a fortified outpost of civilization of sorts but it seems that the giant ants are the least of the dangers in this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Agnes remain in Legaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Lewis and Agnes, okay. And Palmer, survey team leader, February 10th, 2241. Wow. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Alright. A letter to the Overseer from Dr. Stanislaw Spraun. If you are reading this, emergency vault and internment... Vault internment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations! You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by a vault tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that the deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by vault tech corporations as outlined in your employment agreement. Your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GECK module. Please see attachment A for details. Dr. Stanislaus Braun, Director of Social Pre Societal Preservation Program. Preservation? Oh my god, I can't read. Attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GECK module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the Overseer's sealed orders. The GECK is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by Vault Tech, a terraforming module ca capability. What? A terraforming module capability of creating life from complete lifelessness. What? 
After writing out the storm of nuclear amagedon in a Vault-Tec patented vault, residents can then activate a GECK and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GECK module. So ours got tripped out of a GECK, which would have been nice, huh? Um... I just, yeah, I was just there. Opening. Ooh, fancy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very nice. What is this? Oh, it closes it behind me. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. This place doesn't look nice. I don't like dark places. Hi, Radroach. Radroach, meat. Alright, well... All right, well, hmm. My game just froze, didn't it? Alright, welcome back to more Fallout, and we're back here. Thankfully, the game autosaved for me when I stepped through that door, so I didn't go back too far. Um, yes, <laughs> obviously the freaking crashes are annoying as heck, but I'll try to work through it. Um, Red Roach Meat. Sure. That's great. Um, stats. Status. Radiation is at 16. Yeah, that's fine. She's opening the vault door! Uh oh. We need this door open now. I'm not a. Um, 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 can I go? Let's go! Bye, Amada! Wait, you're coming with me? Wait, what are you doing? Good, you're leaving. I guess you were trying to help me, but you... You didn't have to kill him! So you say. Maybe one day I'll be able to forgive you. But not now. I hope you never have to find out what it's like to see your father killed right in front of you. No! Don't listen to me. Just, just go! Find your father. I have to go bury mine. Bury yours where? No, I can't. Not with you, not now. You'd better leave before I change my mind about letting you go. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm the one with the gun pointing at your fucking head. Well, bye. Oh god, that door just opened. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, is it... Uh, why? 